This video is meant to help you expand your writing. Hitting the word count for a given assignment can sometimes be tough. The reason that I would like you to be able to do so is because I want you to be able to dig deep and go beneath the surface. Therefore, if your essay is on the short side, there's probably room to expand. Read over your essay and be critical of your writing and have others do so as well. Look for moments in paragraphs where additional facts, resources, quotations, and analysis may be needed. With a little time and dedication, you should be able to stretch your essay out to the required word count. Take a moment to reread your essay. Pause after each paragraph and ask yourself what else you could say. What facts are missing? What perspectives are you overlooking? Complexity and elaboration are important in an essay. As you comb through your draft, look for examples of black and white thinking and ask yourself, how can I elaborate on that point? At what points are you presenting a binary perspective instead of seeing the gray areas? This is especially important if you're writing an argumentative essay or a persuasive essay. It's important for you to thoroughly understand and include in your essay the other side's point of view. One thing you can do is to look for spaces to add quotations. As you read through your essay, pay attention to areas that may be confusing without quotations to help ground the reader. However, make sure not to overdo it on quotations. Do not quote the entire paragraph, for example. Instead, choose a few lines that speak to your point. Overquoting may make it look like you're trying to stretch the essay out without actually expanding on your ideas. Quote a few sentences over an entire paragraph. Furthermore, don't just insert quotations and assume that I will interpret them as you do. Analysis is like the process of deduction, wherein you cut down a bigger concept into smaller ones. Analysis breaks down complex ideas into smaller fragmented concepts so as to come up with an improved understanding. Many times students will include a quotation and let it speak for itself. Your job as a writer is to state what the quotation means and how it connects to your claim. A strong writer will take a number of sentences to do this. Synthesis is an important scholarly move as well. If you haven't, you may want to synthesize your ideas where you put together the separate parts that have already been analyzed with other ideas or concepts to form something new or original. Another idea to expand is to find spots to add additional context. Context is important to an essay. Your reader may need to know a little history to understand the point you are making. Look for places where you can add context to help the reader better understand your writing. Additionally, you may not have all the answers you need right away. As you find places where your essay needs to be expanded, you might find you need to return to basic research. If you find you need additional facts, quotations, or historical context, hit up our library research online. Additional information could help substantially stretch out your essay. In the midst of your research, you may find a whole new claim to add. Read your thesis again and review your claims. Is there another one you might add? If your introduction and conclusion are less than a half page each, you may want to add to them. For the intro, you may choose to add more context. For the conclusion, make sure that you explain why what you have written is important and perhaps how there should be some action taken as a result of your writing. Finally, if you have added new content, revise your introduction and conclusion. See if your introduction and conclusion need to be tweaked. You may need to add new information as the argument you are making may have slightly shifted.